Hey, how's it going, everybody? I have a theory. <clears throat> so I was driving around the other day. I noticed, uh, based on my past experiences and doing research in the uh, in the the historical side of things, the transportation, and all of this, but my um. My theory is due to the fact that automobiles have been enclosed on all sides, airtight enclosed, um, I believe that that has a lot to do with the fact with the limiting interaction of um, mankind uh, with one another. And, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the case. And, um, <laughs> it's quite fascinating because a hundred years ago, you would find automobiles, you know, maybe, maybe 120 something years ago, you'd find or 100 years ago, you'd find automobiles that were just open air, right? Open air concept uh, without the uh, the tight air seal locks that most vehicles have nowadays, unless you're driving a, a really, really uh, <laughs> a vehicle that, has, that needs weather stripping. But uh, anyway, uh, that's just a theory. Think about it, and uh, let's see what you guys have to say about it. But think about it: two hundred years from you know, from today, uh, going backwards, that is, people would ride horses, you know, and it was open air. You know, they'd make more contact with people. They'd have to because they'd have to listen to them. They'd have to listen to all, all you know the surroundings. If it wasn't in a horse, it was in a chariot or a wagon. Um, and nowadays, everything's, everyone's all enclosed, right? They stay in their houses, they stay in their apartments, they stay uh, in their vehicles. And uh, I'm willing to bet there's not enough, there's not as much face-to-face um, -face contact with people as it once was. Anyway, just a thought. See you later.